um, I've only got one pack today, all because I can't be bothered to get up and just grab some more. <laughs> so, I'm using um, the Ark Animal deck today. Um, so, I've already pre shuffled it and we'll just see what comes out. It's only going to be a quick read today, but let's see what happens. Let's see what it looks like today. Oh, by the way, the world card fell out just before when I was shuffling. Oh, two I've turned over. And the weasel, seven of swords. So there's someone around you that's lying, being a bit deceitful. It can just be hidden feelings, um, but definitely someone's not telling the truth, hiding something, maybe stealing behind your back, possibly cheating, something like that. Lower vibration, basically. Um, polar bear, the star, healing hope, gifts from the great spirit. So the star card is wishes, wishes and dreams coming true. Um, maybe this person, maybe if they lied to you, stole from you, whatever they did to you, maybe your their wishes and dreams come true. Maybe, I mean, I'll clarify afterwards. I'm going to clarify with the same pack today as well, but, or maybe you're hoping for your wishes and dreams come true after someone who wasn't that good to you. <clears throat> the whale, this comes out all the time at the minute. Judgment, rising up, clarity, awakening. Maybe after this kind of energy, you're, um, yeah, having maybe a bit of an awakening, um, rising up, clarity's coming, wishes and dreams, or maybe they're waking up and you're their wishes and dreams. We'll see that in the end. <clears throat> Judgment as well. Maybe they're facing their judgment at the minute. Or if it's you that's lied to someone else, maybe you're facing your judgment at the minute. Sloth, four of swords. Yeah, quiet reflection, wait until the time is right. So someone's been in healing mode. They've took themselves away. They've been healing from something. It's either this person or the person who did this to you or the people who did this to you. <clears throat> it could be people or just one person. One more. Tasmanian Devil, Five of Wands, yeah, there's definitely been battles, conflict, arguments, um, but there's definitely someone going to get the wishes and dreams coming true, and that's part of their judgment, I think, um, and clarity, and um, I'm just going to shuffle these quickly three times, clarity, and truth, and gifts from spirit, possibly, as well, maybe you've had an awakening, so you've been getting some spiritual gifts, maybe, these cards are so big, Okay, so Seven of Swords, clarify the Seven of Swords. Ooh, I feel like this one wants to come out. Eight of Pentacles, hmm, rewards, mastering, quality power. Maybe that wasn't meant to come out, but I'm going to keep it there just in case. Okay, so what's here for Seven of Swords? Can be though. Maybe, re uh, maybe rewards are coming after this person has done that to you. Um, or rewarded for overcoming, you know, waking up, getting clarity, judgment. Maybe your rewards is this, your judgment. <clears throat> um, so anything you go for, you'll be rewarded with. Um, Queen of Swords. This is someone who's been through quite a lot. This is someone who's like this, like back off. <laughs> um, facing demons, quick wit, profound transformations. So maybe you've been through quite a transformation. And you're getting rewarded after this kind of energy was around you. Makes sense. Okay. Polar bears. So this is the star card. Wishes and dreams coming true. Wowzers. I don't think there was anything else. Okay. Wishes and dreams coming true. The sun. Yeah. Your wishes and dreams coming true. And you're going to get complete happiness. That little duck. So cute. I'd love a little duckling. I'd love a whole blinking farm, to be honest. Um, strength over mine. So stay strong. You're going to get strength as well. This is part of your wishes and dreams coming true. This is also Leo energy. So you could be a Leo like me. Um, hummingbird, four of wands, homecoming, rest after labor, Nirvana. Um, four of wands is also, uh, four, four, four has just showed up. This is also twin flame, soulmate connection, marriage, engagement, celebration, parties, probably with the one you love. Gateways, 11, 11. 
So you're definitely going to be celebrating. You could possibly be getting engaged or meeting your soulmate or something like that as well. Good things are coming. Just be careful of that person either around you at the minute or has been around you. Um, so what else is there? We did the whale. Oh no, we just did star cards. The whale. Just a minute. Rising up. Awakening. Ooh. The, oh, I love these melody. So pretty. Well, not really that pretty, but they're beautiful. <laughs> they're lovely animals. That's what I'm trying to say. Five of Cups. Um, so someone's definitely looking back on the past. Maybe judgment from the past, rising up from a past. Maybe this person was from the past or people around you that didn't treat you that. Maybe you just had people in your life that lied and didn't treat you that nice. So part of your judgment is um, maybe look at maybe stop looking back on the past. Ten of cups, you're going to get your happily ever after. Five, five, five just showed up. So that's transformation too. Success, divine blessings, and lasting happiness. Stop looking back on the past though. <clears throat> six oh six. I look such a scruff bag today. Um, was there one there? Yeah, there was. <clears throat> the raven. These are one of my favourite animals. We've got four in the back garden. They're lovely. I feed them most mornings. Alchemy, manifestation and willpower. So this is um, maybe some of your divine gifts that are coming and clarity and awakening and rising up. You're manifesting. So maybe you're going to, maybe you're the master magician. Maybe you're an amazing manifester and that's part of your spiritual gift. Okay, the sloth for swords. This is healing. I feel like this one wants to come out. Oh, it comes out nearly every reason. Um, blue footed booby, two of swords. Maybe there was a choice, or there is a choice that you're gonna have to make, and you've gone into reflection, healing, reflection, maybe from this choice, maybe you've made it already. Nine of swords, it was something that kept you awake at night, maybe you're worrying, stressing over, it could have been from this past energy. Um, stressing over, maybe a bit depressed, keeping you up at night. Shadow side coming through, mental anguish. Um, recall the world, this come out just before, so the world card, destiny, ending cycles. Maybe you had to end something and this choice was to do with ending something like double-edged sword. Seven of cups. Um, this is determination, dreams, deception. Um, there's also lots of options around you, so try not to have too many options at once. Try to just pick one option at a time. <clears throat> there could be options coming towards you too. And Seven of Pentacles, this is reaping the rewards that are sown. So anything you have been manifesting um, is ready to come into fruition, I think. Anything else for the Four of Swords? Yeah, same cards just fell out. The Two of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So that's definitely clarified it. <laughs> they come out just before. So, um, you're definitely healing at the minute. I'm just going to shuffle a few times again. 818, that's abundance. <clears throat> okay. Um, five of ones. This is um, conflict arguments. Whoa, two just flew out. Could be with two people. Um, puff of fish, nine of cups. Wishes and dreams coming true. <clears throat> Even though there's been conflict around you, your wishes and dreams are definitely coming true because you've had that twice now. And the Empress, and maybe all this conflict has made you step into your um, Empress power. So stepping in, so new beginnings, fertility, you could also be pregnant. You never know. Eagle, bold eagle, the Emperor. Oh my God. Yeah, you're definitely meeting your soulmate. And this is your wish fulfillment, I think, is meeting your soulmate. Maybe you've had to make kind of a hard decision, 9-11. Um, and there was battles and stuff, conflict, maybe inner conflict, shadow self, you know, thinking, what should I do? But you're definitely stepping towards your emperor and empress. That's divine counterpart. Oh, was there two more? The shark, the devil, bondage. So maybe you were being controlled. Maybe there was someone around you that was quite manipulative. Um, maybe you were in shackles, but it's all self-imposed prison. It's not real. It's more just someone around you that makes you feel like that. There could have also been drugs, um, alcohol, all lower vibration control, anything like that. 
Nine of Wands, yeah, resilience, bravery, resolve. So you always get through all your challenges. Um, and King of Pentacles, this is abundance coming towards you. Could also be a King of Pentacles, anything else. So even after all this complex 10 10, that's ending cycles too. I feel like this one wants to come out. Um, Camel, Page Pentacles, Quest for Wisdom, Abundant Harvest. There's definitely abundance coming as well in whatever form that is. And Bear, Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles and Emperor and Empress. This is definitely a soulmate, divine counterpart coming towards you. It's amazing. Um, anyway, it's only a short reading, but I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.